today's tutorial is going to be shorter than one of JLo's engagements. We are going to be making, well, I already made it, but I'm going to show you how I made this tumbler for my favorite author. Her name is Ammo Jones. She's chef's kiss to Ammo Jones. Let me let you focus in. Look at, look at that. Get out of town. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to distress book pages and how to apply them flawlessly, if I do say so myself, <laughs> to your Tumblr. It's going to be a very fast and easy tutorial because I, it doesn't take that much to add book pages to your Tumblr. But I hope that you have fun. I also want to tell you that this is one of the last videos where I do an intro in this space. We're moving in about three weeks and I'm no longer going to be in this craft room. I'm going to be going to an entire new space and I get to start from scratch and reinvent my craft room. So I'm really excited. But anyway, for now, enjoy today's video. Leave me a comment and besitos. Is this not the most amazing vinyl you have ever seen? It's printed on holographic sticky paper and it is just so beautiful. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to distress and apply book pages to a tumbler. So I'm already starting with my tumbler wrapped in vinyl and I am going to go ahead and pick a page. I think I want to do a black page just because I feel like it's going to go with the vibe. So I think I'm going to start with chapter one. I'm going to start with the very first page that introduces us to the Elite Kings Club my favorite series of all time. I'm telling you right now, Ammo Jones is a goddess. I absolutely love her style of writing, but it is very dark. So if you ever decide to read anything of hers, please read the trigger warnings. She is an incredible author and her plots are thicker than my booty. Uh, but, you know, she can write some pretty, pretty dark stuff. So if you're easily triggered, definitely check out her trigger warnings first. This series is incredible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I take I took a cookie sheet and I just put foil on top of it so that I wouldn't have to wash it when I was done. And I'm taking a little fire starter thingy and I am doing like if you can see, I'm doing very small sections at a time and I light the fire and immediately start tapping to turn it off just because I don't want it to burn too far or too deep in. So I'm just doing little sections at a time. And as soon as it catches on fire, I immediately put it out. And that's how I'm being able to just distress the edges of it. It can be a very, it can, it can be a little intimidating the first time that you do this. I remember the first time I ever tried distressing pages, I freaked out and was screaming because the flame was moving faster than I could put it out. So I would recommend maybe taking a piece of paper and putting like a square inside of it and then trying to control burn around the square just so that you can learn to control the flame before you try to burn one of your book pages. That way you don't destroy a book page and now you might not be able to get that same page that you wanted. Now, I am torn about ripping pages out of my books because I am a book lover. I've always been a book lover and I like to collect my books. I like to flip through the pages. I like to smell my books. I know that's super weird, but if you're a book lover, you like to give your books a good sniff. They just have a very unique smell. So I treasure my books. I take really good care of them, but you know, I also love these stories so much that I want to preserve them forever and I want to be able to to freeze them in time and showcase them as art and I feel like that's one of the good things about being a tumbler maker is it is a way for you to express your art and the things that you like so I am sending this tumbler to Ammo Jones I don't want to brag okay I don't I don't want to brag I want to be humble I want to be a humble queen but Ammo Jones did follow me back on Instagram I know I know I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much famous now that she followed me back, <laughs> but she, I did let her know that I want to send her a Tumblr. She replied to my Instagram message and everything. She's in the middle of moving right now, just like I am. But as soon as she's settled and I'm settled, I'm sending this out to her. She is incredible. 
And to know that someone I admire so much is going to have a piece of my art. It's her art mixed with my art because it's her writing, which is her passion, mixed with my passion, which is creating. So I'm really excited. Once I was done burning the pages to how, look how awesome it looks. Look at that distressing. I just kind of made sure that I took like a little brush and I brushed any excess, you know, ash off of my page just to make sure that it was perfectly clean. And then I took a very thin coat of Mod Podge. You definitely want to use Mod Podge because Mod Podge dries very fast. And so this allows you to dry the page before it has a chance to rip because it is paper and if you have it you know super wet and you have it wet for a long time there's more chances of it getting damaged or ripping so mod podge is the perfect glue for this i went ahead and placed the center of the page first and then took my fingers and started pushing the air out towards the edges see how i'm doing here i'm making sure i'm pushing any air bubbles any glue bubbles out so that i have a very flat surface underneath the page and then what i'm going to do once i have my page on the tumbler i'm going to take my flat edge brush stick it underneath whatever sections of the page are sticking out i'm just going to put a very small coat of glue and then i'm going to push the edges down you want to make sure that your page is completely adhered to your tumbler because you don't want any epoxy to get under there and lift your page when you're trying to get your first coat of epoxy you don't want anything to happen to this this page so once you've secured the center you want to make sure you secure the edges and that it is really really in there now i don't want you to worry about you know the the paint strokes over the the coat of epoxy because if you do thin coats of mod podge they're going to dry completely clear so when we go back over this with epoxy, you're not going to be able to see those paint strokes. And I that's a promise, okay? So once you have your page very secured and you make sure that your edges are completely on there, you're going to go ahead and take a very thin coat of Mod Podge and you're going to place it evenly over your tumbler. Now, doing a thin coat is key because that is what's going to make your Mod Podge dry completely clear. If you do super thick coats, some areas may not dry completely transparent. So I cannot stress enough the importance of completely smoothing out your layer of a not epoxy, your layer of Mod Podge and making sure that it is completely flat and evenly spread like your butt cheeks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, that was really inappropriate. I really hope Ammo Jones is not watching this. But if she is, she writes a lot of stuff about butt cheeks, so I think she'll appreciate my joke. Okay, so once that first coat dries, I'm gonna add another coat. I'm gonna let that coat dry, and then I'm gonna add a third coat. Now, I'm about to put you on to a bomb-ass tip, a nice trick. You wanna take your tumbler, wrap it in parchment paper, and then take, you know, this is a little silicone squeegee i'm going to smooth out over the pages just to make sure that if there was any imperfections or if there was any bubbles or anything at all this is going to make that page lay completely flat now the reason you want to do it with parchment paper is because you don't want to drag your fingers or your squeegee directly over the page and damage it but see how this just made it lay even flatter and made sure there was no lumps or anything once you have done that and your coats of Mod Podge are completely dry, you can go in there with your first coat of epoxy. Look at that. It looks crystal clear. That might be because I'm using Flynn Sisters epoxy too. <laughs> it's the best. But now we've got a clear coat of epoxy over our tumbler. Once we completely let it dry and spin overnight, I'm going to take a chip brush and some chalk paint i'm in the color black i'm just going to paint the bottom of my tumbler black and then you want to make sure that you're dabbing any excess paint off on your paint on your paper towel because you don't want to do super thick coats but what i want to do and i do also want to tell you guys this was actually jessica flynn's idea so shout out to you sissy thank you so much for helping me brainstorm I loved this vinyl, but I wasn't sure what to put on it. And she was like, you have to do a book page. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And then I was like, I don't know what else to do to it. And she suggested the distressing with a paintbrush. And let me tell you right now, adding these paint strokes in black just gave 
such a good vibe to the tumbler. It's what it needed. Because once I get a coat of epoxy over this and show you how it turned out, it looks so good. Now I'm just kind of, I'm doing like very thin, strokey uh, paint strokes at the top and at the bottom. I'm not going too far down because I do not want to cover too much of that gorgeous vinyl. I also don't want to get this over the page because the distressing of the page looks beautiful. So I'm just going to do this in little sections at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to add a final coat of epoxy and wait until you see how it turned out. It's absolutely beautiful. I hope Ammo Jones loves it and I hope she knows how much love I put into this because I admire her so much. Baddies, here's how our cup ended up. I hope you think it's beautiful. I love you so much. Thank you for always coming and watching my tutorials. It means the world to me. You guys are so special. I love you all to pieces and I'll see you for next Saturday's YouTube tutorial. Until then, besitos. Mwah. Have a good weekend, baddies. I love you.